So tonight it's come to my attention that people, I'm not going to mention any names, have been trying to work out what's going on with me and figure out what's going on with my disability but without any information and so they're trying to badmouth me. So let's just put something straight. I'm not in a wheelchair because I need to exercise. I'm in a wheelchair because my nervous system is shot. It attacks itself on a daily basis. It finds something healthy and thinks, oh, there's an infection. Never mind the cold. Never mind any other infection that you're fighting. We're busy. If you imagine your nerves are like an electrical wire and when they fray, it short circuits. MS, when it's in your spine, strips away the fatty sheath, the myelin, and then it starts to damage the nerves one by one. It literally strips them. It gets to a certain point, if it hits a certain level, that you can lose feeling, you can lose movement, you might lose both. I have no voluntary movement from my mid-thigh down, but I can still feel my legs. It's an altered sensation, but I can still feel them. Some people can't feel their legs, but they can still move them. I don't know which is worse. I don't think there is a worse. I don't know what it would be like. I can't imagine it anymore. If you consider that it's been three and a half years since I could wiggle my toes, since I've been able to bend my knees. When I first got ill, it was all of my right side. Now it's just kind of a slow movement in my right hand. The grip's not great, but it, it it's not as bad as it was. I spent two years working on my right arm to make sure that I could push myself around and still get anywhere. But it was at the cost of my other leg. It took six months for it to catch up with the rest of the lower half of my body. I was at a physio session and it just gave way. There was nothing I could do about it. Nothing's going to bring it back. Not unless they find a way of actually repairing the myelin. The chances of that happening are very, very slim. I've been told by neurologists that I have less than a 5% chance of ever walking unaided. I'm 33. That's a terrifying prospect. For anyone who wants to try and badmouth me, or say that I don't really need my wheelchair, you know, I just need to exercise a bit, Try going for a, just an hour, not being able to use your legs. Scooch across the floor on your backside. Do everything with your arms. Walk on your hands. Because that's about the equivalent of me using my crutches if you ever see me on my crutches. It's just my upper body that holds me up. Just try it. See how far you get. Then tell me it's just exercise that I need.